Hey everyone, Justice Good here, and in this video I'm going to answer an email I got, and it says, Hi, can you teach me how to create something very similar to the image I have attached? Thanks. And it's a picture, it's a shape of ellipse, but it's actually made out of words. So I'm going to show you how you can warp your text in Photoshop to look like a shape or an object. So to start, I just opened up a blank canvas, and you kind of want to have a shape or a picture to to be your guideline to trace off of almost. If you're good at drawing you can make something with the pen tool. You can use a preset shape that Photoshop has in its custom shape tool area or you can even find a picture that has a pretty clear outline like I did here from the internet and use it as a guideline. So I, I found this picture here. I'm going to lower the opacity just a bit just so it's easier to work with. And now on top of this layer, I'm going to select my text tool. You can pick any font you want, really. And you're going to type out your first word. So I'm going to do happy birthday like the example. I'm going to use all caps as well, just because the less space there is between letters, the more filled out the shape is going to be by the text. So there's a couple things you can do to help that. So I've written out my first word. If you select this tool right here, the paragraph panel or the window paragraph, or the character panel, I should say, they're both combined. So window character. You can do a couple things to make your text more dense and that's adjusting the spacing here. I gotta highlight. Okay, so if you have your, your text layer selected, you can adjust the spacing so that you don't want it super spaced out. You want the text kind of scrunched together so it's a solid it's almost like a solid color, but you can still read the letters. So this is a pretty dense font already. So you're gonna position it. You can also size it properly. I'm just going to use the edit free transform hold shift and size it properly. And now where making it into a shape comes into play is going to edit transform. You can't warp it unless you rasterize it. So right click it, rasterize this layer. So now it's just like a shape and you can edit transform warp. So what this does is it makes a grid here and if you pull any point of this grid it will begin to warp it along those lines. So it's pretty simple actually. You just want to warp the text into the shape of the lips. So actually what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to move it a little bit left. Edit transform warp and I'm going to start warping. So I'm I'm literally just pulling this shape of this into the shape of the lips. That's why you need a guideline almost to help you trace. So I'm doing word by word. You could you can even get really intricate and do letter by letter if you want it to be absolutely perfect. But I think that looks pretty good to start. And then next I'm going to click my text tool type out birthday. I'm going to use command T or edit free transform. Hold shift and shrink it down to be about the right size here. And then I'm going to go to edit transform. Oops, I forgot. See, I forget too. I have to rasterize it first. You cannot warp it without rasterizing it. So I right click the layer, rasterize it, 
and went to edit transform warp and again I'm just going to pull and adjust the layer so that it fills in the shape of the lips that one was pretty simple actually it kinda just fit right in there and I hit enter and then next I'm going to fill in the bottom lips I think I could even just use one one big word here because the bottom lip is kind of just one shape and the top lip is two so I'm going to use I'm just going to use a name here so and then I'm going to make this bigger by command T free transforming I'm holding shift kind of making it that estimate size and then I'm going with going to rasterize my layer rasterize type edit transform warp and I'm just going to fill in the shape of the lips see if you're really good at freehanding or drawing technically you you wouldn't need a guideline or a picture but if you use a picture your final image usually comes out a little bit more looking like the actual object that you want it to Alright, so once you have a pretty good set set up there, you can tweak it as much as you like. Um, if I go ahead and hide my original image, you can see that it resembles a pair of lips even though it's actually words. And it helps to pay attention to the way that the words are slanting and warping if you make this kind of warp outwards and kind of explode from the middle it makes it more full like a lip would be and actually with this bottom layer here I could have warped it a little bit more so that it looked like it was exploding rather than shrinking in so that creates a kind of illusion that is kind of hurting the shape of it but for the sake of the tutorial you kind of understand how to do it now and now you have words in the shape of an object so thanks for watching hopefully you learned something even though I kind of did it quickly um, that is the basic way to do it um, you can use warp you can even use if you use the text tool and you click this here Photoshop actually has kind of some preset ones like arc and bulge and you could even get away with using these for simple objects and this kind of lets your text still be editable but anything more complex than that you can use warp um, and there you have it so thanks for watching hopefully this gave you an idea of how to do it the more time you take the higher quality the final image will be and you won't get as much stretching and image loss as I did so until next time send me your emails at justthisgood at gmail.com and I'll try to help you out later